Hey guys, I'm Chris. From the bones of an ancient creature to real life hobbits, here are eight amazing accidental historic discoveries. Number eight, the Lyceum. Let's start this list by going back in time and talking about one of the great philosophers of our time. Plato. But what you might not know about him is that not only was he a philosopher, he was an academic man of the highest order. He actually founded the first university in the Western world, known simply as the Academy. A place, by the way, that another legendary man, Aristotle, went to. But after that, Plato went and made his own school in Athens, Greece, and he called it the Lyceum. But over time, the Lyceum became lost to history. This saddened a lot of historians, as this was not only an important landmark, but also a key part of the life story of Plato. So when endeavors were made to try and find the school, but with no luck. Then, in 1997, work was being done in Athens to set up a modern museum of art. As construction workers were digging up the land, they soon found themselves looking at the remains of an ancient courtyard. They brought in some archaeologists and they confirmed that this was indeed part of the Lyceum. Construction was halted and the museum was moved to another area, while the Lyceum was excavated and turned into an outdoor museum. Number 7. Woolly Mammoth in Michigan Without a doubt, one of the coolest things you can accidentally stumble upon are the bones of an ancient or extinct animal, mainly because you know you're holding history, and what you're holding is potentially history changing. But sometimes, where these bones are found are just as amazing as the bones themselves, such as when James Bristol came across the bones of a woolly mammoth within the grounds of his soybean field. In case you didn't know, woolly mammoths were a big part of the Ice Age, the actual time period, not the Ray Romano movies, as well as other periods, but they eventually died out. More importantly, these things were huge, and the bones that Bristol found were definitely of the huge variety. Of the bones found, the skull and two massive tusks were excavated from the field. And once taken to the University of Michigan, go Wolverines, they were dated to be 15,000 years old. This discovery was taken to a new level when it was revealed that humans had killed this woolly mammoth, starting a big theory that humans were around long before people thought they were. This theory hasn't been officially proven, but the evidence is compelling. And I don't know about you, but I think it would be pretty awesome to find a woolly mammoth skeleton in my backyard. Number 6. The Terracotta Army Sticking with farmers finding incredible things, let's go to China, where farmers found a very unique army buried underneath the ground. This all happened in 1974. A seven-man team of farmers were digging around when one of their shovels hit something they didn't expect. They hit a statue, and they actually broke it. Unsure of why it was there, they called in some archaeologists, who did some further excavating and made an incredible discovery themselves. Well, multiple times. First and foremost, they found the tomb of Emperor Ting Shi Wangdi, the first emperor of the Ting Dynasty in China. Quite a find, and that was just the start. For as they continued to dig around, they started to find more statues like the one the farmers had accidentally hit. They were made of terracotta, and they were numerous. Not just numerous, though, they were detailed to a painstaking degree. Every statue was unique, and they were built and placed around the tomb of the emperor. The sculptors even went so far as to make terracotta horses in chariots in the tomb. So what was the point of this? Well, after the emperor died, his followers wanted to be sure he was protected in the afterlife, and an army seemed like a good way to do that. This discovery is heralded as one of the most important finds in Chinese history. Before we get to number five, if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe. We have lots of new videos coming up. Number five, Hobbits? From the mind of J.R.R. Tolkien, hobbits are small beings that have big hairy feet, a desire for the higher things in life, and don't like to go on adventures. Until Gandalf recruits Bilbo Baggins for an adventure and, well, you know the rest. The point here, though, is that hobbits were fictional. Or are they? In 2003, a group of archaeologists were on the island of Flores, Indonesia. And while exploring a cave, they found the skeleton of a woman. While this may not sound exciting, the skeleton of the woman was rather special in that it was incredibly small. They examined her bones further and came to the conclusion that not only was her body small, but her brain was too. Put that together and you might have a hobbit. Yes, I know the hobbits were actually very intelligent, but still. Whether you believe that it could have been a hobbit, it was found in a hole, or a dwarf of some kind, it's important to note that there is a lot of debate about what this means. In fact, the mystery around the bones is still intact, mainly because no one can tell which of the possible human ancestors this woman came from. Good to know there are some mysteries left in the world to solve. Number 4. Chinese Mummy 
Let's head back to China for a bit, because in 2011 in Taizhou, a team of construction workers were doing some excavation on a road. They were contracted to widen it, and to do so, they had to dig deeper into the ground the road was on. As they did, they hit an object about six feet down. Knowing that it could be an archaeological find, they called in a team to examine it. As they filed out of the area, they found themselves looking at an ancient Chinese tomb, one that has a special three-layered coffin in it. So what was inside such a special coffin? Well, once they opened it, they found themselves looking at linens and silk, ones that were drenched in a weird brown liquid. But true to form, they dug deeper, and as they did, they found a mummy within the coffin. What's more, it was a female mummy. Yet that still isn't the biggest surprise, because the body of this woman had been so perfectly preserved, likely because of the linens and silk that her eyebrows, skin, and hair was still intact. This was even more surprising when they discovered that she was apparently over 600 years old. That's quite a long time to stay so perfectly preserved. It makes you wonder how many other mummies like this there are out there. Number 3. Utsi the Iceman Sticking with mummies, you'll be surprised to know how many of them are found in the mountains. It makes sense to an extent because the tops of mountains are so cold that they can preserve bodies without much difficulty. In 1991, two German tourists were going along a mountain pass when they came across a frozen body. Now at first, they thought it was the body of a hiker, like them, who had gotten trapped in the snow, when actually it was something far more unique. Not only did they find a mummy, they found Europe's oldest and naturally found mummy meaning that it wasn't made by human hands. It was later named Otzi because of the mountain in the Alps. This mummy has led to new light being shined on early Europeans, and many scientists are dissecting every little piece of information they get on the body to find out even more. But there is a small catch to this. You see, the hikers who found Otzi? They're dead, and their deaths were under very unusual circumstances. Mummy curse? You decide probably worth a Google. Number 2. The Rosetta Stone When it comes to some of the truly great finds in the history of the world, few compare to what the French found in Egypt during one of Napoleon's campaigns. You see, near the town of Rosetta, a group of soldiers was fortifying a fort when they decided to take down a certain wall. As they did, Pierre-Francois Bouchard found a slab of stone that was unlike anything he'd seen before, mainly because this stone had numerous writings on it. This was the Rosetta Stone. Research immediately took place and the stone was dated to 2 BC. But more importantly, the text on the slab wasn't one language, it was three. Hieroglyphics, the symbol seen on Egyptian tombs and pyramids, Demotic, another Egyptian language, and to their surprise, Greek. The French would lose the war they were fighting, and then the British got the slab, which led to Jean-Francois Champollion and Thomas Young examining and deciphering it all, and they were able to do so. Through the Greek part, they were able to translate both sections of the Egyptian text, and through this, the world now has a way to decipher the past of Egypt. This was so significant because at the time, no one knew how to read hieroglyphs, but now everyone could. The impact of the Rosetta Stone can be felt to this day, and it's not only a cultural icon in and of itself, it's referenced many, many times to mean a way to translate something, which is exactly what it did. Number 1. The Dead Sea Scrolls While all artifacts are historical in one way or another, there are types that take a bigger precedence than the others. One of them is religious artifacts. Whether it be the items held by a former religious icon or documents that help tell the stories within certain religions, if these are found, it's a big deal. So imagine the world's reaction to the Dead Sea Scrolls being found in 1947 by a bunch of teenagers. I'm not kidding, that's exactly how they were found. These teenagers were shepherds near the city of Jericho, and one of the goats they were looking after got lost. And just like the Bible story, one of the shepherds went to go look for it. The young man stumbled upon a cave, and wondering if the goat was in there, he threw a rock in it. When he did, he heard a pot break. Naturally curious, he went into the cave and found several more pots, and within them were papyrus scrolls. Scrolls that were, in fact, some of the earliest known pieces of the Bible. Their numerous chapters were within these scrolls, and there was still more to be found. Not knowing what they had, the kids sold off the scrolls for cheap. But once the authenticity of the scrolls were revealed, it started a massive search for more of these scrolls within the nearby caves. After all the searching was done, they had found thousands of papyrus scrolls. A scrap of these scrolls would now go for millions of dollars. The Dead Sea Scrolls are held in the highest regard and are considered one of the greatest finds in all of the 20th century. Thanks for watching, guys. Have you ever found something strange by accident? How about you let me know in the comments below?
and remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.